Alright, so in this video we're going to walk you through how to build a PC for music production from scratch. So as always, you can subscribe to our newsletter to get updates and uh, exclusive content uh, delivered right to your inbox. Also, you'll get a copy of the Dubstep Drum Kit, which includes more than 100 high quality uh, drum sounds that you can use in your own production, which include bass wobbles and bass drops and things like that. So you can go to the dubstepcreator.com and sign up for that if you'd like. So when you're first starting out with music production, there's not really a need to go all out with the with your PC. Um, pretty much all you need at first is a laptop or desktop bought within the last four years or so. Just a relatively new computer uh, can usually handle some of these software programs. Also, of course, you'll need a pair of headphones unless you have good speakers and friendly neighbors that you can just play music all day, um, and a simple DAW software. DAW, for those of you who don't know, is a digital audio workstation. So things like FL Studio or Dub Turbo or things like that. Um, for more on DAW software, you can go to our website. We talk about that a lot. But as you progress in music production, um, running all these different virtual instruments and samples, and especially when you're finished with a track, a .wav file can take up a lot of space. All these different things um, take up space in your RAM and hard disk and can bog down your CPU. So when you start running into problems like this, it might be time for an upgrade. So the three main elements to building a computer, um, well, the three main elements to a computer are the CPU or processor, which is pretty much the problem-solving center of the computer, and then the hard drive, which is long-term memory storage, and of course the RAM, random access memory, is more uh, short-term memory for running applications and things like that. So we'll walk you through each of these steps of building a computer and uh, give you some recommendations. As far as the CPU goes, um, some of the minimum requirements you want to look for are 2 gigahertz of uh, processing speed and you want at least a dual core processor. So the CPU is pretty much the most important part of your system. Um, so if you have any extra money, it's a good idea to spend it here. Um, some good ones I found were the Intel Core i7. So that's the best, I think, for music production right now. Um, it's really fast and it's just it's really good for music production. Um, also, Intel kind of has a big hype to it, and a lot of the money you spend goes towards the brand name and everything. So the AMD uh, Phenom 2 is also a pretty good processor for the price. It's, most people say it's just as good as the i7, so you might want to take a look at that as well. You're going to want to get at least a 500 gig hard drive and 7500 RPM. Now these are a minimum. Um, Memory isn't the biggest issue when it comes to a hard drive because you can always upgrade down the road. Um, it's easy to get an external hard drive for pretty cheap. They sell them up to two terabytes now for a couple hundred bucks. So that's not the biggest issue right now. Um, if you can afford to spend more here, you want to go for a faster hard drive. So uh, one that spins at 10,000 RPM would be great for loading up your samples real quick or things like that. So a good place to start as far as uh, a hard drive is take a look at the Western Digital Velociraptor. Um, this one's at 10,000 RPM so it's nice and fast. 600 gigs which is more than enough storage for right now. It's only 200 bucks so uh, your wallet won't take too big of a hit here. Just a side note here uh, don't fall into the all the hype about SSD, uh, especially for music production. Um, SSD is solid state drive, so a solid state drive, people say it can be more stable or faster and things like that, but from my experience, it doesn't really give you much of a boost in performance for the money you spend on it, and when you're building a computer for music production, you can definitely spend this money elsewhere. It'll have a bigger impact on your performance. 
RAM is random access memory, your computer's working memory, basically. Um, so when you have multiple applications open at a time, if you feel like your system's starting to slow down or get all glitchy, it's usually a RAM problem. So most people overestimate the, the amount of RAM they need. Everyone's always all about, yeah, go for more RAM. Um, uh, it'll speed up your computer or whatever. But most people will never max out more than four gigs of RAM with music production. Um, even if you have multiple plugins and instruments open simultaneously, you won't really hit that four gig number. So four gigs can be found less than 30 bucks, and RAM is always e easily upgraded in the future. Um, it's just kind of a card that you, not a card, but you know, a chip that you stick into your computer. But with music production, you definitely want to pay attention to your sound card. You want to make sure you get a quality sound card. Um, so a sound card basically links up all of your equipment that deals with uh, MIDI interface. Um, so that's everything from your controllers, keyboards, uh, to your actual computer, and then out to your speakers and monitors. A good place I found to start, or a good sound card that I found is the Focusrite Sapphire. It's only 180 bucks, and it comes with a. It also comes with an internal graphics card, so you don't have to buy one of those separately. The graphics cards that come with some of these sound cards are, uh, should be fine as long as you're not looking to do any gaming on the computer. You should be good to go. So a few other things to pay attention to when you're building your computer um, are definitely the cooling systems. So with music production, you're always uh, you're always concerned about external noise if you're doing any recordings or things like that. Always remember large diameter fans uh, don't need to spin as fast, so that makes them more quiet. And also, um, as far as the motherboard, um, check that it's compatible across all your different components. So your CPU, hard disk, and RAM um, should all be able to work with the motherboard. And finally, the power supply. You need to make sure the power supply you get for your system can support all of the different components you just bought. So for this, you can just use Simple Addition. Um, all of your components come with a, a power supply rating on them, so you just add all those up. Um, and I typically like to multiply that number by 1.5 just for added safety. I mean, you don't want to cut it too close. So once again, um, if you want to subscribe to our newsletter, you can get some free updates from the Dubstep Creator, members' exclusive content, and video tutorials. And also, uh, you can get yourself a copy of the Dubstep Drum Kit, which includes 100 plus uh, high-quality audio files in .wav format. Um, so just go to our website at thedubstepcreator.com to sign up for that, or just uh, read some articles about music production.